Hi everyone, my name is Paul Henschel. You can reach me here on Twitter, it spells 0xca0a. I guess many people ask themselves, why, why would you ever want to use React for games? But let's go back to the core principles of what React is. It's everything but a web framework. If you take it out of any context, just the npm library that spells React, this one has nothing to do with HTML or the browser or the DOM. It just defines what a component is. You may use a class or a function and it can be stateful. That's why you fetch hooks from just React. But then you have to pair it with a so-called render, for instance, React DOM. And this one teaches React about the platform. This is what these little lowercase native elements are for. You don't import them, you just write them out. And it's not HTML, it's just JSX at this point. The renderer takes these and then interprets them and expresses it in the terms of the target platforms. And it also teaches React about which elements exist, divs, spans, h1s, and so on. But it also says, okay, this is a style, or this is how properties work. This is how events work, and so on. So this all comes from React. DOM. It does not come from React. There's not just React DOM, there are actually dozens of them. Let's imagine there's a renderer called React Hardware. It could have something like a diode. Or React Sequencer, it could have something like a track. In React 3 Fiber's case, we use meshes, or materials, geometries, and so on. Everything that exists in the 3.js namespace is available in JSX. Usually, you will be writing less code, and in 3.js, this will even be more pronounced. The larger your application gets, the more code you will save. This has many reasons. React saves you lots and lots of boilerplate. 3.js is very heavy on the boilerplate side. You will be writing resize handlers, lots of math. The interactivity does not even exist, so it just saves you lots of code. Performance is super controversial because they say, how can it be that React Fiber has the same performance or could even be faster than 3JS? They think it's impossible that this could ever happen. But React Fiber does not have overhead. And the reason for this is it does not participate in the render loop at all. 3JS renders period. React Fiber just manages it. But in this, React is actually very efficient and it's virtualized and scheduled. So in some situations, you could actually outperform 3JS quite easily because 3JS does not balance load create a quick demo application. We first start by fetching the canvas component from React Fiber. You just put it into your app component. Everything in there is 3JS. So you use meshes, geometries, materials like this. We already have a cube. Let's color it. And you have hot reload, as you can see. All the properties that you see, positions, color, rotation, and so on, they come directly from 3JS. Let's spin this one around. But I also want to take it out again because I want to show you how to make a real self-contained component. We copy this bit, put in here, and invoke the component. And by doing this, we have already made it reusable. We can duplicate it, adding some props, spread it over the mesh. And now we can put the position on here. I'm going to put this one on the right and this one on the left, like this. Also, let's just fix the light so it looks a little bit more three-dimensional. I'm using ambient light and point light. Next, I want to show you how a component can participate in the render loop. I'm using a hook for this called useFrame. Let's make a reference. We put this onto the mesh. Now we have access to it inside the frame loop, inside the useFrame hook. For instance, let's mutate the rotation bit and you can see all the cubes are rotating, but we can also compose this functionality. Now let's take this out real quick, copy it in here and apply it to a group. I'm dumping the children in there. And now the cube can just be a cube. I can compose this logic, in this case, by wrapping the cube into it. And as you can see, this cube is spinning individually. I also want to show you how to create interaction. This is inbuilt in React 3 Fiber. doesn't exist in 3JS. But here you have real pointer events. So you can do one click and you can distribute the event state. As you can see, I'm clicking it, change the color. Let's also real quick make the hover state. The handlers I'm going to use for this are on pointer over setting the flag to true and on pointer out, setting it to false. And let's just scale it. If I'm hovering it and then going back to default like this, it works, you can see it. Let's try something else. Because this is React, you can use anything in the React ecosystem. For instance, let's try to animate it using React Spring, which does not care if it's animating a div or a mesh. If you've ever used this library, you're familiar with this one. I'm taking now the conditions, just put it in here, extract them. And now they're turned to animatables, which I can distribute among the view. And of course you need the A dot syntax. And it's working beautifully. These are spring physics. Because it's so easy to form self-reliant components, the ecosystem is constantly growing. So there's a lot of stuff available. For instance, let's just try out orbit controls, putting them in here, 
you can see I'm rotating the stuff. Now let's take all this out. I want to show you how to use physics, which you really need if you want to make a game. There's a library called React3 Canon, which is a well-known physics library. The way it works is you dump all the physics objects into the physics components, and now you approximate the shape. We have a cube, so we use use box. We give it a mass, and now we connect it, run it, that's it. You can see them falling down. Let's also make a plane to catch them. And the best approximation is a plane, so use plane. GitHub Autopilot just filled this in for me, which is kind of nice. Let's put it in here. Like this, uh, we have to face it upwards and we have to shift it down a little bit so that it can catch them. As you can see, it works. We should also change the appearance a little bit so that you can see it, so that it's really plain, like this. And let's just change the rotation a little bit. I'm using just arbitrary values here so that you can see them bounce off the ground. Yeah, okay, this is working. Cool. So, as you can see, everyone can do this. It should be quite approachable. I would suggest you head over to the GitHub page of React 3 Fiber. You will find documentation, some hints how you can learn 3GS, and there's also lots of examples. For instance, gaming examples. The thing that we have just made, try to replicate it, and then you could make it into something real. For instance, you will find a prototype that says Arkanoid. As you can see, almost the same thing. In just a couple of lines, we basically just added collision events. And of course, then you can add stuff. This one is a little bit more involved, as you can see. Uh, there's sound effects. Looks a little bit more fancy, there's a counter. So there's lots of possibilities. I would say try these gaming prototypes and go and visit our Discord. I hope you can see that making games is not as inaccessible as you thought. You don't need so much math and 3JS knowledge. With React, it can really help, especially beginners, to create something very fast.